previously on Wiener and Wiener. Have you ever thought about getting into the moving pictures? Go on. Hi there, welcome to Midgetville. Everything's miniature except the, except the fun. Why are you with me? Wiener. You deserve better. At least you're no longer pregnant. I met a really cute Brit at my support group meeting last week. I'm going on my all-inclusive beach vacation getaway. I'm calling for an appointment for group couples therapy. What? I saw you in Breakfast at Tiffany's. You were awesome out there. Well, <laughs> Paris LeBlanc, thank you. It was nice to be seen. How could anyone not see you? Excuse me, young lad boy, that ye be Hester Prynne who traveled thither here to America without her beloved. Extra, extra, read all about it, lover lost at sea. But why the ye scarlet letter? Extra, extra, read all about it, Hester Prynne had a secret affair. With which whom did Hester Prynne share her bed with? Which... Extra, extra, this just in. Hester Prynne refuses to relish the father's identity of a newborn child. Father of a newborn child! Cut! Kid, you're like a young Brad in Montgomery. Wiener, you showed up, you're uh, making choices. But remember, it's not Schindler's List, it's a web series. So uh, kick the accent, stick to the script, and stop looking in the camera, and we might be on to something. Action! It's a Audrey Adams kiss this? Of course. And with tongue? Always. This is all so exciting. Fresh off the bus from Buffalo, New York, and I already snagged Audrey Adams autographed and deoxide ribonucleic acid? That is quite a bucket list. And all at my first audition. <laughs> what are you going in for? The role of Nina. Marilyn, so are you. <laughs> Say something, anything to get my mind off this function. Is this considered a date? Uh, I, I can leave you guys alone. No. No. <laughs> I'm just a little nervous. The Marilyn Davis nervous? I just haven't hooked. I mean auditioned in some time. Well, I'm proud of you. For reaching out and opening a door. Speaking of opening doors, my manager called last night. Guess which pop star wants me to collaborate on his upcoming single and music video? Exciting! Who is it? Thanks so much, Anna Jean. Thank you. Marilyn Davis. Present. How unexpected. Again. I think I left my fedora on your desk. I haven't seen it. There it is. Well, you seem to have found what you're looking for. I definitely have. I actually was just leaving. What a coincidence. So was I. I actually have to take this call. What call? I should really take this. Be my guest. Hello. Speaking. Sure, I have all afternoon. Oh! Uh, Hugh Grant! Fancy running into you here. <laughs> You do know that in Britain, Hugh Grant is a swear word, right? 
Cheerios. <laughs> oh, you're no longer up the duff. Oh, uh, yeah. it popped my last support group meeting. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, good day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um. Marilyn Davis, everyone. Everyone, Marilyn Davis. Hello, everyone. I loved you in The Outsiders. I wasn't in that. Well, it was a great film. Completely snubbed at the 1983 Oscars. Um, can we just take it from the top of the first scene? Yeah. Wait! You're not seriously considering... ...going, are you? I mean, Jake, I just told you. I love him, and it's Paris. Why wouldn't I want to go? Yes, ma'am. It's it's called a, a Bible belt. Uh, sure. It's it's a Bible you wear on your yes. Uh huh. It's gonna take a while. Huge order. No worries. This entertainment today has my name written all over it. I can't wait. Fine. What do you want from me? You. Wiener and I are very happy together, Brayden. Why are you going to group couples therapy? Come on, what do you see in him? He's so ordinary, bland, awkward. That's what makes him beautiful. You're good, Bridget. I can make you better. Don't you deserve better? You should really take that call. Oscar bought a coconut, he bought it for a dime, and my jean had another one. She paid it for a lamp. <laughs> Oscar, I didn't know you were a singer. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Failed hobby number 63. <laughs> Where have you been? Sorry I'm late. I was stuck at an audition. I didn't know you were an actor. I'm not. Failed hobby number 49. What is it for? A musical web series. What will they think of next? Inanimate objects with googly eyes living life in an identifiable time period? Is the 1960s a present day? And how can the attractive inanimate protagonist function without fingers? The audition song was catchy, though. Sing Eloise! Heck no. Then it would be like those awkward moments in moving pictures where an actor starts to sing for the first time and you really hope they don't suck. Come on. No one's watching.
That easy. What do you mean? I honestly thought you were gonna suck. But now I don't have to come up with an indirect way of saying you suck without hurting your feelings. You're welcome. You know, we should grab a drink sometime. We should grab a drink right now. If it's one thing I'm good at, Emma Jean, it's drinking on the job. <laughs> Where's Midge? That one-eyed manager from Heck. Mm, some annual eye patch convention in Jersey. Mm. Say lovey. I didn't know you speak German. Expecken nicht Deutsch. Say what? This is just my luck. No luck. Who was I kidding? Just reach out and open the door. To make that happen, you need a door to open. Watch where you're going. Oh, I'm awfully sorry there. Mr. Big. Excuse me? Oh, uh, I thought you were a friend. Your friend's name is Mr. Big? I have to go. Oh, uh, well, at least let me buy you another drink. Perhaps a vodka tonic? Hold the vodka. vodka. I know who you are. You do? My Rock Hudson. Anthony Perkins. Richard Chamberlain. Richard Chamberlain? You're my Mr. Right. Take your happiness while you may. Beneath the light of the moon, we sang a love song that ended too soon. The moon descended and I found with a break of dawn, you and the song had gone, but the melody lingers on.